if we want to edit our interior elevation settings, we might want to do this in a few different ways and for a few different reasons. We have the ability, when we go into the settings, to define the heights, define how tall the representation <laughs> is. We can change just like with the section and elevation markers. We have cut elements, we have uncut elements, we have sun and shadows, we can add in our vectorial 3D hatching, we can add in transparency, we can have exclude view blocking walls. So there's all of these options. This one is unique to this particular type. We have story levels, of course that's the same as what we have in our interior, sorry, in our se section and elevation tool. And under general, we have our horizontal range and we have our vertical range. Now, vertical range is probably more important in the interior elevation tool than any of the others. We want this to be limited and we want to limit this to our story. And so what does zero mean? It's limiting it to our zero story. If we make it infinite, that'll go forever. We can limit it to a story, or we can make that as tall as we want. So if we want the ceiling, for instance, to be 2400, that's going to cut that view. We can see that it's we've added the vectorial hatching. And so we're representing a tile or a brick pattern now. And let's just change to a line tool. We can see that's now only showing it at the 2400 maximum height. Now if I show true line weight, I have a little bit of a problem with the representation of how things are shown at the moment. So when I click on my wall, and go into the setting. What are we talking about? We're looking at a composite AED interior wet area is my composite. So if I click on this composite and go into the composite settings, we see that the interior face is based on tile. So that's the building material. So when I go to uh, building material and find the one called tile, we see that that's based on a surface called AED brick white. And then when we go to the surface called brick white, we see that brick white has a vector hatching called AED brick bond common. So we've gone through all of these layers of ArchiCAD settings to find out where and why we're actually defining this pattern. So one thing that I could do is I could change here the fact that instead of making the thickness of the surface hatching based on the thickness of the wall or the element pen, I can change that to pen 1 or I could change that to pen 15. And that will mean that will automatically change the representation of that hatch in my view without changing any other view settings. So that's really good to know. Uh, and of course that whole process was pretty complicated because we're using the inbuilt settings for the composite, not just the surface, not just the building material, but the composite, composite meaning that it's a combination of multiple building materials. Now what if that was way too complicated? What if I didn't want to do that? What if I just wanted to change the surface or another way of saying that would be to override the surface? I could choose a different surface to override it. When I'm trying to override, I have three options. I have the outside face surface, the edge surface, and the inside face surface. What's that based on? I have to understand the floor plan. So when I look at this wall, where is my reference line? My reference line is on the outside of the bathroom, and that's called the core outside. So that means in terms of the naming sequence, the internal face, in this case, this one here, being the inside face, 
is representative of the brick pattern, the tile, at the moment. So if I didn't want that to be brick, if I wanted that to look like tile, let's change this to one called tile black, press OK, and then we'll go back to our view elevation 6. We can see that's now changed the representation of the surface because I've changed the surface which had a vectorial hatch attached. So we can define our, our tile patterns or whatever type of cladding material we have in our bathroom based on the surface settings. And as long as the surface setting has a vectorial hatch applied, we can edit it that way. Now let's go into the setting and change that. Options, Element Attributes, Surfaces. Let's click on the tile black. And we're going to change it now from a tile 300 by 600 to a 200 by 400. And again here we can say element pen or we can override this and change it to another color. So once we understand the process, it's very, very easy to change this and we can make this look however we want. Now what's the problem? Is there a problem? We are representing the tile that we, the way that we want, yes, but we're not necessarily setting out the tile the way that we want. I at the moment have no control over where this pattern starts and where this pattern stops. What's that based on? That setting is based on the three-dimensional, let's go into show all in 3D, uh, let's do this just from the plan. I'm going to select this wall and say show selection marquee in 3D. So I'm only seeing this wall. The tile is currently based on the setout of the surface, which is generally set to the project zero. So it might have no relationship to this actual wall. If I go into Document, Creative Imaging, Align 3D Texture, and then Set Origin. I can change, I can reset, Set Origin, Set Direction. I can change the set out position of where that tile starts. And we change this view, view, 3D view options, change that to technical drawing, we can now see that representation of our tile that we chose. And again, let's change that one more time. Document, creative imaging, align 3D texture, set origin, let's choose down here. So we see that it's changing again that position of the tile. So we can do that so that not just in 3D, of course it looks great in 3D that we can do that, but also in our interior elevation, it's now moving the position of that tile set out. So it's representing properly in our view. And we can do that individually for each of our views and change the representation. Of course we can also do this two-dimensionally. So if we go into our settings, basic settings, interior elevation settings, we can choose under our model display to not show the vectorial 3D hatching, press OK, and we can choose to represent that same type of tile. Let's leave it red for a second. Display order center back. We see that at the back we can't see anything if we bring it forward. It's in front of everything. If we go back into our interior elevation settings, exclude view blocking walls, tick, display order center back, still hiding it. Now depending on the filtering option, sometimes we can see that if we bring it forward one layer, and if that still isn't working, we can cut it out. So in terms of using a fill, we can cut out the shape. 
so we're not seeing just the elements that we want to hide. So we can decide if we'd prefer to do this two-dimensionally or we'd prefer to do this three-dimensionally using the surface of the wall or using a two-dimensional tile pattern. Now the more we can do 3D, maybe the better off that is. It gives us better options in the future because that means that we can view it in 3D as well as in 2D.